Hi, welcome back. I hope that you're doing great. I have a small haul here from Sephora and a Drugstore, actually it was Target, and then one of those little shops in the mall that they sell like earrings and, oops, I forgot one thing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. As I was saying, I have a small haul here from Sephora, Target, and a little shop that they call Icing. It's sort of like a Claire's Boutique that they have them in the malls here in the States. I don't know if they have them overseas and they sell earrings and jewelry and they pierce ears and just little trinkets and stuff. Um, I don't often go into that store because it's really for much younger girls but when I went in there I saw a lot of cute jewelry and I picked up a couple little things that I'd like to show you so let's get started with that okay the first thing I bought this three pack of these really sweet cute flower earrings as you can see this is pink this is black and this is the third one it is white I love these they're so cute um, they're sensitive solutions so the posts don't have I think um, they're made with better material, so they won't bother your ear and make it itchy or give you like an infection. Now I've had my ears pierced for many, many years, so usually that problem, that's not a problem for me, but I like the earrings, so, and what better to have something that's for sensitive than you're protected. Another pair of earrings I bought were these because I thought that they were just so pretty. They're nice and big and they have the little hook that you put through your ear and with these I they come with a clear plastic that you can put right through and it keeps the earring sturdy on your ear just love them they're um, a pretty black with um, what is that called rhinestone and like a little gold so it's kind of a combination of gold and silver and black very very nice okay also i was looking by their little makeup items and they told me that they had buy one get one free and i thought well i'll try something and i thought i'd try some of their brushes i was talking to the manager and she told me that the same company that makes the brushes for sephora makes their brushes now i'm sure they're not as high quality but they are so so soft this one is a kabuki brush and I honestly don't have a kabuki brush that is soft. I have a very old one that I bought many years ago from Bear Essentials when it first was the big rage and I think I even ordered it on um, from an infomercial, infomercial. but it's very um, coarse and hard and I never use it and I've tried using all kinds of things to soften up the the hairs on the brush but nothing does it this is just so so soft and i'm going to show you a product here in a second that will in a couple minutes that i use this with okay and then i bought this brush i thought i'd give it a try it's the eyeshadow crease brush and it has a nice dense brush but it still moves a good amount and i used this yesterday it was really really nice Okay, the next two items were from Target, and I've been looking for the little inner uh, waterline liner that's not white but beige for days when I want my eyes to really pop or I'm looking tired and ill and I want, you know, my eyes to look better. And I found this one by Scandalize Rimmel, and it's, I'm going to swatch it, but you're not really going to see it that good. You can see it right there. I've used this a couple times and I really like it. The only thing is that I saw this on someone else's channel, the Brunette Beauty Blogger, and she put it just in the middle, and I'm gonna do that next time because I don't think I like it quite much you putting it all the way across the waterline. Now, she didn't use this one, she had a MAC one, but still it's the same color. Now, the next thing I picked up was another eyebrow product. I'm in the search of finding something that is just very easy and that the material is not made of garbage, <laughs> like another one that I use. This is the Master Shape by iStudio Brow Pencil, and I got this in the deep brown because my eyebrows are pretty dark. And let me open this. I also have the Milan, excuse me, the Elf uh, eyebrow kit, but that one you have to take a little bit more time when using it. And this is just one that has the pencil, and I think you have to sharpen it, which is fine. Yeah. And then it has a nice little spoolie 
at the end. And I haven't used this product yet, so I will let you know how I like that. But if you're interested in something like that, it came in a package like this. Okay, next two items, and then we are done. They came from Sephora. I went to Sephora over the weekend and just wanted to get um, actually one thing that I was very interested in, and I saw it on a couple of videos, and I wanted to swatch it first. There was another product that I was also interested in, but it didn't, I'll tell you that in a second. But the first one was the Naked Urban Decay Flushed. I'm so excited to have this. I went up to the um, area where it was at and I tried the tester and I just love it. This is the blush, this is the highlight, and this is the uh, bronzer. I have used this already last night. I put a little bit on and that's what I use the Kabuki brush, brush with. And I just love it. It is such a beautiful combination. It looks really good on my skin tone and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. Another thing from Urban Decay that I wanted to look at were the new palettes that they have for the new movie that they have out where they have Mila Kunis as one of the witches and then oh I can't forget I keep forgetting the girl with the blonde hair she's like uh, Glinda the Good Witch so they have two different sets they were beautiful colors but every time I swatch them with the exception of maybe one or two on on each pan they were still just so full of glitter and I don't mind a little shimmer here and there but glitter is just not for me so I was really disappointed because the colors were really pretty and I was ready to buy the one that there was the darker colors but that Mila Kunis um, is on the package and she plays the character but it was just so glittery I thought well, maybe I can make it work, and I kind of went around the store a little bit, and then I came back, swatched it again, and it was just, my whole hand here was just filled with glitter just from touching that, so that was a no-go for me. So the last thing I picked up was a Buxom Lip, um, lip Gloss. I only have one of these, and I really liked it. like it. It's the Berry Blast, and I thought I'd buy this color, and this is called Dolly. It's a really pretty uh, plum color, and it's very neutral when it goes on the lips. And this is exactly what I was looking for. If you could see that right there. Let me put a little bit more. And I love these. I don't mind the, the tingling or the mint as some people do, you know, to each his own. Um, I really do like these a lot. They have just the amount right amount of stick for me they're just the right amount of stickiness and dryness they're not too sticky not too dry that's what i meant to say so that was my little haul from icing and target and sephora which i think i behaved myself pretty well there i hope that you enjoyed that and if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can i will see you soon take care of yourselves Bye bye